everybody and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am gonna be listing my goals for 2023. This is things that I want to achieve through the year and I want to focus on and that I wanna keep my mind busy with. And I just like to set goals at the start of the year because it means that I have something to think about, something to aim for. And also it's such a rewarding feeling when you actually complete your goals and you actually are able to tick off things that you have set at the beginning of the year. And a lot of these goals that I have set are achievable, but some of them are more challenging than others. So I will list through every single goal that I have set in a second. But I thought I would just talk about an overview of 2022 really quickly at the start. Grab yourself a drink if you would like. This should be the first video of 2023. So I hope you enjoy it. Please subscribe if you haven't already. If this is the first video you've ever seen of mine, please subscribe. I have got lots of content to come. 2022 was not the greatest in terms of YouTube, in terms of me posting. I barely posted. I, well, in my opinion, I barely posted. I didn't really put any effort into my videos. I didn't plan my videos. You know, years ago, I used to plan all my videos. You know, I used to think about what video to post when and stick to a strict schedule. And it made me really happy because I love organization. I love, you know, planning. And I also love achieving goals that I have set. YouTube was something I love to do because it was something that I could focus on. It was a hobby. It was something that I could put all of my energy into. And last year, 2022, I had a few things going on in my life, not necessarily bad things, but I was just busy in general. And I just kind of put YouTube to the side because at the end of the day, it is a hobby for me. And you know, there are things that are slightly more important in life, in life than YouTube and making YouTube videos. So sometimes you do have to compromise in life sometimes. This year, I am determined to achieve all of my goals and to tick all of them off and hopefully, I can look back on this video at the end of 2023 and I can see that yes, I have achieved at least 80% of my goals that I have set, if not 100%, but we shall see at the end of the year. So stay subscribed if you wanna see if I achieve them. I know it is a long wait, but I have got loads of videos coming this year. Also, I thought that maybe I should describe what my channel is, because I always think like, I don't have like a theme to my channel or like a niche. My channel I would describe as lifestyle, but the kind of videos that I'm gonna be posting this year, I'm gonna have vlogs on here. I'm gonna have like morning routines, evening routines, what I eat in a day, clean with me videos, and just very lifestyle based things. I'm not gonna do so much makeup because people aren't really here for the makeup, but maybe, you know, it will feature every so often or in the odd vlog or something like that. And also monthly favorites. I'm gonna get back into doing my January favorites, February favorites, etc. because I love filming favorites videos and I haven't done one for ages. So if you're wondering the kind of theme to my channel, that is pretty much it. Also, I curled my hair this morning. This is the first time I've actually taken time to curl my hair with straighteners. And I think it came out pretty decent, you know? Um, maybe it looks not so great compared to some people, but I, you know, this is my first time properly curling my hair with straighteners, so. Thank you. So, my actual goals. Number one is to be consistent with YouTube and to post twice a week, and that is gonna be a Monday and a Thursday at 6 p.m. So you should see a video from me every week on a Monday and a Thursday at 6 p.m., hopefully. I have planned out all of January's videos already and what I want to post, and there's a variety of different content, so hopefully that will appeal to different kinds of people. And I just want to stick to a routine, just so that you know that, yeah, Georgie posts on a Monday or, yeah, she posts on a Thursday, that kind of thing. So you can kind of be like, oh yeah, I'll remember to watch that sort of thing. And I just like to, you know, be consistent with things and just have routine and be organized and plan things. So I'm going to try my very best. I also want to do more high quality videos. And what I mean by that is just, for me to put more effort into them. So to plan my videos so that they have a structure to them and they have sort of some kind of meaning to them so that you kind of go away from watching the video and you may have learned something. I don't mean factually. What I mean is basically, when I'm watching YouTube videos, sometimes I watch a video, I'm like, yes, I'm motivated to bake. Or yes, I'm motivated to go and clean out my wardrobe. 
or oh, I want to go and organise this, I want to go and do that, or oh, I really fancy doing my makeup now, I've watched this person do their makeup, that kind of thing. Like, I want to kind of inspire people in certain ways, and I'm not saying that I'm like a role model or that you should do what I do, but I just think sometimes it's nice to just watch an everyday person, you know, go along about their life and post videos about certain topics and to kind of relate to that person in a way sometimes you know when you see people online a lot of people aren't exactly 100 percent relatable because they post like the most perfect version of themselves but i want to keep my channel to be kind of like realistic to you know what stage of my life i am at at this moment and yeah i'm just waffling so i'm just gonna kind of be quiet now because i just i've gone on a tangent and i don't know what i'm saying Goal number two is to be strict with my diet and to work out more. So first of all, I do want to work out more. I I miss how I used to feel when I used to consistently work out. Like I literally used to work out every single day when I got in from, you know, school, uni, whatever, I used to be so consistent. And it's crazy how your fitness levels can drop so much when you don't do that. But it's also crazy how your fitness can be built up quite quickly from workouts. I used to be a lot more toned, I used to be stronger, I used to be fitter in general, and I just want to get my fitness up for my own health and just for, you know, being, you know, in life in general, like it's just easier to get around, you know, it's less effort to just, you know, walk up some stairs or whatever. I'm not saying I'm crazily unfit, but I'm just saying I want to work out more for my own health. And in terms of strict dieting, I don't want to be strict throughout the whole year, but especially in January and February, I am going to try and eat in a calorie deficit. So I will probably post videos about that or what I eat in a days that will kind of be about that. So if you don't wanna, you know, watch anything to do with calorie deficits or losing weight or anything, then just avoid my what I eat in a day videos, but everything else should be fine. But yeah, I just, I have gained a little bit of weight since the start of the year and I was fine with that, like I'm fine with that because I know that when I'm ready to lose the weight and get back to where I was, I will do and I will kind of enjoy it. But for me, losing weight takes a lot of time and effort and energy. The last time that I did this, I actually followed a plan and it was the Happy Body Plan, which was made by Alexandra Louise, who was on Love Island a few years ago and her like production team or whatever. She has now dissociated herself from that plan because um, she said that it actually, you know, gave her an eating disorder, but I was fine with it. I actually had a lot of success from it, but it was very basic. Like the plan was very basic. It was just eat in a calorie deficit and exercise a little. I can do that now without following a plan. So I will be tracking my calories every single day apart from Saturdays where I will just kind of be a little bit more lenient. And I quite like the routine of calorie counting and like focusing on health and, you know, losing a bit of weight and just kind of getting rid of a bit of fat, you know. Um, I'm not saying like I'm overweight or anything. I'm just saying I would like to tone up a little bit more and lose a few pounds because I know weight loss is quite a controversial topic. Oh, I've just seen my third goal was to lose weight and tone up. So that was kind of like my second goal as well, but also just being disciplined with that. And you know, you won't always have motivation to lose weight. You won't always have motivation for everything in life but it's about dedication, it's about being strict, it's about, you know, those moments where you're least motivated are actually the most important times to achieve these goals because they're the times when you are at your kind of lowest point and if you're still able to pick yourself up and you're still able to focus on your goals, then you will achieve your goals because motivation is literally gonna be there 5% of the time. So that 95% of the time you need to just be strict with yourself and not give in to your mind telling you, oh, but you know, shall we do this? Or, oh, I can have that because of this or whatever. There's no excuses unless you are seriously injured or something like that, you know, in terms of working out. Number three, this is the actual number three, is to drink more water and to go on more walks. So I do actually wanna do a lot more walking, not like l massive, massive long walks, but you know, just to go on like a little 20, 30 minute walk every weekend or something, just to kind of see the scenery and just to kind of get some exercise. So that's kind of just like a little goal of mine. And then drinking more water is so important for me because I just, 
I just don't do it but when I think about it and when I want to drink more water I can actually focus on that and I do actually drink a lot more I notice difference in my skin I notice it in how I feel my energy levels I notice it in how thirsty I am it actually makes me more thirsty the more water I drink but you know it is important to drink a lot of water and I also just notice how it also helps alongside working out, it helps alongside that whole healthy lifestyle situation, you know, sometimes you think you're hungry when actually you're thirsty, you just, your brain doesn't recognise that necessarily, um, you just need to make sure you are drinking enough water. Number five is to save up and start looking for a house. So this is very important for me this year, I have wanted to buy a house for a long time, like a long time to me anyway. I've always known I've wanted to buy a house by myself. So that's the start, that's the first thing I'm doing it by myself. I do have enough money for a deposit for the kind of house that I'm looking for, but I just wanna make sure that I do have like enough money in the bank and I just wanna kind of start looking for houses, like what am I interested in, what kind of house do I want? And I won't really speak about this too much on YouTube because I don't know, I just, what is there to talk about? Like obviously there's loads to talk about, but for example, somebody did comment on one of my videos and asked if I could make a video on how to save up for a house and the whole process. And I don't think that I can talk about that to be honest because I don't think that I actually would be able to give good advice for that basically. And I would have to have gone through the whole process of buying a house before I could give advice on things. And you know, there's loads of, you know, YouTube channels out there about buying a house. And I actually think it's probably worth going to towards that kind of a channel than just, you know, a random person like me because I personally just don't think my advice is very good if I was to give it. So that is why I will not be doing that. Number five, I think it is, I'm not sure, I'm kind of lost, is to continue working hard at my job, continue working where I'm working. I officially became permanent at my job, even though I've had the job for over a year and a bit, but I, I was temporary, but I officially became permanent in November. So I haven't really been permanent for that long, but yeah, next year I'm gonna focus on my job, making sure that I understand everything, that I'm putting 100% effort into everything because when you are productive at work, you're productive at home or when you're productive at home, you're productive at work. So just being productive overall in life will make you happier and it will help you sleep more because you will not be worrying about things. So just kind of making sure that I'm keeping on top of everything at work and at home. Number six is to cook more meals and recipes. Now I'm calorie counting, it will make me have to put a lot more effort into coming up with new recipes, healthy recipes, substituting certain items in meals. And I just wanna cook with a lot more vegetables. I wanna try new things and just experiment more. You know, I often would go into the habit of getting packet pasta, packet noodles. Like I want to be a lot healthier and to also save money with my food shops and I think planning out meals and bulk making meals will help with that as well. Number seven is to be strict with my skincare routine. That is another thing that has lacked in 2022 was sticking to a skincare routine. Kind of sad really because when I was younger I used to really stick to a solid routine and I used to be really on it with my skincare and I had bad skin like I had or well, not bad but I had acne basically and it was quite bad um the acne and the products I was using I was consistent with but I you know they weren't effective with that skincare routine my acne wasn't caused by the skincare it wasn't caused by makeup it was just hormonal acne because I was a teenager and I did get something from the doctor that did actually you know fix my acne it was a gel I don't know exactly what it was, but it was a gel. But I just find it kind of weird how I was so consistent with my skincare back then because I really wanted to get good skin. Yet now I have all right skin, like I would say it's good skin, but I'm not consistent with my skincare routine. Sometimes I'll go to sleep with makeup on and I just think, come on, George, I would have literally, you know, only dreamed of having my skin as good as it is now back years ago and I'm treating it so badly. So I just want to, you know, use a simple routine, but good products and 
use a face mask regularly. I've got a bunch of face masks that I use quite often now and I just want to remain in a routine, remove my makeup every night, cleanse my skin and just take the time to do that. And I think to help me do that is to actually do my skincare routine earlier on in the evening where I'm not tired because usually I'll get tired at night and I don't want to have to whack out my cleansing balm, get a cloth out and then wash my face and then do my skincare. So doing it earlier in the evening will be beneficial for me. So I need to just make sure that I'm strict on that. And the last goal I have, which is number eight, I believe, is to keep up to date with tidying my home. So just make sure that I do little and often, which is like, if I see something, take it upstairs. You know, if I'm off upstairs and I know that I have things downstairs that need to go up there, just take it up there. Put my clothes out on the line when they need to go out straight away. Don't just wait around. Don't just let everything pile up. Just doing little and often. And I've noticed that makes a massive difference at kind of just keeping a tidy home. If I wake up in the morning and my house is super clean and tidy, I will be so productive in the day or I will feel a lot happier going to work. I will have a really productive morning routine. And for me, having a clean house means that I then have a better routine in life. A better morning routine will then have a better day, will then have a better evening routine and the cycle repeats. I am actually going to be posting a morning routine on Thursday this week, Thursday at 6 p.m. So if you wanna see that, please subscribe and stick around because I will be posting that. It will be my 6 a.m. morning routine for when I'm at work. But yeah, I just think tidy house, tidy mind is very true. So that is pretty much all of my goals for 2023. I probably do have some more, but I just can't remember right now. But that's like the main ones. And I think my main goal is kind of looking for a house and losing weight there, like my main goals. And also being consistent with YouTube. I need to be, I do. I really need to be. Yeah, thank you for watching this video. Please give the video a like if you enjoyed watching this video. Subscribe, I will be posting twice a week, Mondays and Thursdays at 6 p.m. So stick around for seeing all the kind of content that I am gonna be posting. And have a good day, goodbye. <laughs>